Morning, Vermonters are still picking up the pieces from this summer's flooding. It's been a community effort, and in central Vermont, it's all about returning the favor, even if it takes 100 years. Six months after flooding rocked Vermont's communities, it's been a never-ending circulation of bailing out and picking up. It's been a long slog. The Kellogg Hubbard Library in Montpelier hit hard with eight feet of flood water inundating their basement. The water line still visible on their windows. All of their systems from heat to electricity wiped out. And according to the library's executive director, Dan Groberg, the cost of their repairs sits at over a million dollars. We need to move all of those systems up above the floodplain, um, both to meet the building code and to, uh, you know, prevent something like this from happening again in the future. But the library is starting a new chapter back open and making headway on repairs with a helping hand from the community. We've had a lot of generous donations and every single one of them has been a huge help. One of those donations came from the friends of the Waterbury Public Library. More than just an act of goodwill, the folks at Waterbury's library see it as a repayment of debt. The Waterbury has received $100 from the Montpelier Library. A while back, Margaret Moreland had taken interest in the history of the library and found herself digging through archives looking for lore. She found an article from the Waterbury Record detailing a donation made to Waterbury from Montpelier after the 1927 flood. It came to Waterbury with no, no strings attached. They used it to buy Windsor chairs for the reading room and some reading lamps. Waterbury's library remained largely unscathed after July's flooding. As they reopened to help flood survivors get back on their feet, Montpelier's library struggled to open at all. We wanted to help, but we couldn't give them our donations because people donate to Waterbury for the Waterbury Library. So the friends advertised that all of their proceeds from the ongoing book sale, August through December, would go to Montpelier. Libraries are absolutely critical to their communities. Uh, that's a big part of why the friends wanted to support the Kellogg Hubbard Library and, and do whatever they could to get them back up and running after the flood. They came up with $1,087, which they say is the original 100 bucks Montpelier gave to Waterbury almost a century ago, just adjusted for inflation. Back in Montpelier, $1,000 is just a drop in the bucket compared to their rebuild cost, but they say anything helps as they try to turn a new page. We got a lot of support from businesses and individuals and other libraries as well, but this one was really special because of that meaning behind it.